Hey, Master Gardeners, I got this pretty nifty new perennial that was given to me by one of our Master Gardeners, and she loves it. It's called Golden Zizia. So it's pretty cool. It's just coming into bloom now. It's got a long period of bloom. But what I found fascinating before I zoom in it is that it serves a special pollinator that this is the only plant that it serves. And it was fascinating. I even learned a new vocabulary word. Oligolecti is the word that's used for a bee. This particular one is the mining bee, and it's actually named after this zizia plant because the species name is actually zizia for the insect. So it's, uh, as you can see here, and, what is it? Andrea, Andrina, Andrina, zizia. Pretty cool. Mining, one of our mining bees. And this is the only flower, it's that specific. This is the only flower that that particular bee will visit. So not only is this plant specific to one pollinator, there's also many pollinators that it can serve. And what I found fascinating is it happens to serve butterflies as well. And the black swallowtail, which I get in my garden a lot during the summer months, is one that's going to enjoy it. There's lots of short-tongued bees that will visit it. It's said in there that the um, wasps will visit it, specifically those little parasitic wasps that will eat your tomato hornworms. So it's pretty cool. A plant that's used for naturalizing areas, and because it's such a good insect or a seed germinator, it's used in conservation mixes. So come on over. This one's easy to grow, so I want you to get a take a look at it. I got the flower laid out here. You can look at these pretty little yellow flowers that are just coming into bloom. Easy to grow, diverse kinds of soils. It will enjoy if it's a more moist soil so it likes wetland meadows, but it grows in the western part of the United States in the prairie lands and the black soils of those areas, as well as the limestone bluffs and areas like that. It'll grow in mesic soils, woodlands, you name it. There's the flower in front of you. You can tell what family it's in. It's a parsley looking flower, isn't it? So it's in the carrot family. So pretty traditional, different. It's an humble style of a flower blossom. And if I laid one down here. If you were to look at it and zoom in on each one of these individual little flowers, which are individual little pieces, you would see that um, they have five stamens, five petals, and, and five, um, five petals, five stamens, and five sepals. So not that you're going to zoom in that close. And there is a plant that it can be confused with. So the way that you distinguish it from another one of the confusing lookalikes, which was a pars uh, parsnip, a wild parsnip, and our native yellow meadow parsnip, is by the fact that the centermost flower in this is sessile. So you'd have to look at the centermost blossom. So you'd only have to know that if you were trying to identify it in comparison. But as you can see, it has compound leaves, and, and the leaves are heavily toothed on the rims. The margins are uh, heavily toothed and I have one of them here. I found it interesting. Look at this. It looks like it's carrying a virus This is traditional pattern that a virus would show you get that mosaic patterns So I'm wondering if my plants got a little internal disease, but certainly that is not a big deal But a wonderful little noteworthy plant for its lovely yellow flowers that are just starting to come in right now and tolerates This is moist organic matter. It typically grows two feet tall. Mine is well, here's my clipboard, um, clipboard on it right now. So mine's only about 12 to 15 inches, just starting to get up and definitely spreading out. I got a little tree poked in the ground here, but I'm just loving this little flower. And I think it's worthy of anybody zone four to nine. So there you go, master gardeners. Another idea for you for gardening for native plants. Zizia or Zizia aria. Enjoy.